Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Instruments of Destruction. Yeah, we're back in this because honestly it's one of the most unique building experiences you can have and one of the only games you can build with rope and chains and things. Yeah, so we're going to head straight to Sandbox and I think we'll head to the Test Island. But first a huge thank you to today's sponsor, The Sandbox. The Sandbox is a community driven gaming ecosystem where users can build, explore and even sell almost anything they can imagine. In The Sandbox you can live out unique unique social experiences like parkour, adventures, concerts, karaoke, talk shows, story driven quests and much more. There are virtual plots of land available which, using the game maker and voxel editor, players can customise however they please, with no coding knowledge required. And because everything is decentralised, if you create something, you actually own it. With its creative play to earn model, the sandbox players can turn their in-game playtime and creations to make real life money. Players can create, buy and also sell unique items as NFTs which are basically in-game items that can be bought and sold just like real life ones. You'll also get rewarded just for your time in the Sandbox and you'll be joining huge brands like Adidas, Atari and Square Enix who have all partnered with the Sandbox. Alpha Season 2 is now open for PC and Mac. If you click my link in the description below you can download the Sandbox today. Play now, earn raffle tickets that give you a chance to win up to a thousand sand. Thanks once again to the Sandbox for sponsoring but let's get back to today's video. So this is the vehicle I built last time, the ones that you guys have been naming in the comments. Uh, hopefully should be in the final game uh, but we're not starting with that. First off I wanted to look at some of these other showcase vehicles particularly this one the hexa chains because uh, look at this thing it literally runs on chainsaws so basically when we turn the chainsaws on we just go and it steers it's actually pretty good what is there on this level to destroy there's some towers over there right let's head in that direction uh, we also sort of randomly we can whoop <laughs> Go a little bit wider. But uh, let's see how this works. I'll sort of go middle-ish size. Oh man, it drives straight through. Look at it coming out the other side. <laughs> We've literally made a hole. I was going to say, and the building's still standing. No, nope, not anymore. Not anymore. I like to think that was an architect office. So we'll go in for another hit. Boosh. <laughs> see you later. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to try and over-engineer this first. Just to get me warmed up. Just because I don't want to pull a muscle. Well, it's always good to warm up first. So, what are we going to change? I don't see the point of those pistons. So, we'll get rid of those. I think we do need to keep some as wheels. Maybe we'll go a little bit wider with them. All right, and then I'm thinking T-way splits there. All right, so that's how wide I want the front. And then I'm going to do the same at the back, pretty much. And then we just add the chainsaws. All right, and there we go. <laughs> Look at this thing. All right, so heading back to the tower. How is it going to do this time? <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, look, we turned the building to the strongest shape building. Wow, that sure is something. That was incredible. I think we should go back through. Okay, ready? Oh, man, it's so destructive. I might have to reset that. All right, there is our target. I'm going to come in from the side this time. So here we go. Boosh. Oh, God. <laughs> We did drift a bit, but carnage. I love it. <laughs> Boosh. All right, but can we improve it further? So I've deleted that bar. We're going to replace it with a four-way shield piece with the upwards connection. Yes, yeah, so like that. And then this end one needs to be a three. Is there a three-way piece? Oh, there's not actually a three-way piece, like a corner one. Oh, Mr. Dev, if you are watching this, you might want to add one of them. Like a three-way corner. So I can do this, but without the blob underneath. Uh, the other thing I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to move the cab back to there. So I'm going to delete that. Put a four-way in there like that. And put the cab there. It's a tall cab, so we should be able to see what I'm about to put in. So I'm just going to build these in six ways because I'm lazy. Right, let's give this a try then. <laughs> <laughs> I need to change all these. So we don't want toggle. We want normal. And we also want them set to W and S. So that means as we drive forwards, the chains will go. If we drive backwards, the chains will go backwards. And our driver can definitely see where he's going. <laughs> no need to worry about that. Oh no, we've lost one. He's not connected. Sorry. Uh, but how is this going to chew through the building? Oh, oh, it actually hurt my frame rate for the first time ever in this game. I did something to hurt the frame rate. That's got to be an achievement, surely. All right, well, that building did not last long. This could be the most destructive machine in the game. You can see the chainsaws I missed. So there are a couple that I didn't change to normal. They're just on toggle. I got to fix that. That's annoying. And I definitely didn't just do that so I can have another go. But uh, ready? Ready? Boosh. 
<laughs> Look at the tower bouncing off the top. Love it. Did that tower survive? Ah, the answer is no. Good stuff. All right, this time we're on a night level. So we're very, very stealthy. I'm not even sure the architects in that office over there. I don't think they're going to see us coming. But yeah, right straight into the... Oh, no. It stopped us. It's okay, though. We're, we're chewing our way through. We are chewing our way through. They must have got engineers to design their office. Cheeky buggers. But look at the destruction, though. It is beautiful as the chains come through the building. <laughs> nice. Right, next up, can we make it up this little hill? It's only small, but it could be an issue. No, we're fine. We're fine, and we're chewing through this building as well. Love it. Right, we are literally eating that wall up. <laughs> Right, okay, that was a lot of fun, but let's build something else. It sort of gives me an idea for, like, a similar sort of machine, but very different. I want to know, can I build, like, a huge circle? So we've got a cross. I'm pretty sure I can use these angled pieces to get the 45 degreeness, which is definitely a word. It's just a case of how do I get a piece there? Is that even possible? Because basically, I, want, I wanted to try and create, like, one of these massive mining wheels. Oh, maybe I just do it like that. It's not really circular. I wonder, do I need to go bigger? I think I need to go one bigger, actually. So if we do that there, that there, and then... Yeah, okay, okay, this could work. This could actually work. Because now we've got a bit more of a step. It's not the smoothest circle we've ever seen. Or perhaps if I replace those two... Yeah, I think I just need to make this a bit longer. Always making it bigger. <laughs> so if we do a beam there, a beam on top, then we do 45 degree there, a 45 degree there, another beam on that one, another beam on that one, and one on that one. Another one there, and both of those get 45s. We might want to start using some half beams as well. All right, let's see what that looks like. <laughs> so a scoop there, a scoop there. I feel like these two, they might need a mini beam. So we do have this, a half beam. Is that more circular or is that just more rectangular? I think it's more rectangular. Right, we'll just go back to what we had. Why doesn't it look right? I guess just the angle of the, of the bucket, is it? Because that looks nice and smooth, that curve. But this one really, really doesn't. Or maybe this one just needs to be not 45 degrees. So what if I we 45 degree there and then we 45 degree back and then put a bucket on? Yes, that's the one. That is the one. I sort of want to do the same for this one now. Yeah, that's better. That's better. And I think maybe that top one has to be 45 or should I just keep it like that? I might just smarten the wheel bit up as well just by doing that. But anyway, that looks good. It's just a case of will it work? Can we even get it to spin? That's... <laughs> That's another thing entirely. Now, I am going to replace all of these just with simpler bits, like the four-way crosses. Because ideally, I'd want to do like a combine harvester of this. But for, but for now, we'll just keep, we'll keep it simple. You never want to start with an over-engineered design. You want to get there in your own pace. All right, cool. So now we need to repeat what we have down here along here. So I do actually need to replace those with the four-wayers. Or a three-wayer would make more sense. So then we do a little bit of that, a little bit of that. And we are getting there. So if we just repeat this throughout the entire thing, then we end up with this. <laughs> oh man, I'm looking forward to this. All right, so first off, I guess I need to add some form of rotation. So if we head into this one, the motion area, we can decide, do we want swivel 90? No, we want power swivel? Oh god, or fast swivel. What's the difference between power and fast? I assume I want fast. We'll plonk a fast swivel there. We better do the strength up to max and maybe reverse the direction. We want it to spin that way so the buckets go against the green. And I think we'll just make that E and Q. Okay, next up we need some way to hold this. Now generally you have this on a huge arm. I'm not sure the game's going to cope with that, if I'm honest. I think to start, before I build too much, I might just keep it simple. So I might just build down here. I better do ultra heavy blocks just to give it some weight. And then we need a heavy six way block. And then we'll connect it all together with heavy blocks. So then we got something like that. And I think we'll just, we'll just test it like that for now, just to check it does work. E to turn her on. That's the wrong direction. Q to turn her on. Well, it definitely spins. <laughs> oh god, it's quick as well. <laughs> oh dear, this is going to be carnage. I'm actually quite concerned. I wonder to start, shall I just give tracks to this thing? So if we just say giant treads, plonk them there and there, and then maybe I'll just put a cab just randomly at the back. All right, so... <laughs> I've made like a Ferris wheel. So Q is to get them going. 
and then we can literally just drive towards this thing. The trouble is, I think my tracks are too far forward, so we might not see too much destruction. All right, and then if we line up with one of these towers, <laughs> look at this thing. It's mental. It's mental. It doesn't turn very well. I think quad tracks is really, really stupid idea, actually. You need like a swivel joint in the middle if you're going to do it, but I think think we're lined up so we'll turn her back on and we'll just creep forwards <laughs> and let's just see what happens oh goodness no it did <laughs> it just stopped right, i'm trying i'm trying to lift it up maybe i don't know what if we go forwards instead all right ready ready boosh oh it doesn't it just doesn't work very well <laughs> I can't believe I spent like an hour building this. But could we improve it? I'm thinking maybe the buckets aren't the best thing for the end. What if we went for swords instead? And the trouble is we are going to have to add some height. So if I just delete those, I think I can just move all of this down. All right, so <laughs> let's see if this cuts through any better. All right then, ready, ready. Oh no, <laughs> it doesn't have the power. I thought maybe the swords would sort of cut through a bit more. All right, there's only one real option then. Yep, circular saws. We've got a circular saw made out of circular saws. Now, unfortunately, a lot of them are touching, so we might have to move them. I don't know why it's spinning either. Oh, let's see what it does to the main building. Oh, it definitely did something. I feel like we need to put it on an arm though, but let's try and take out a tower. So, ready? We'll just sneak into this. Is it better than the previous? Oh, oh. Yes, sort of. <laughs> It still took a bit of a beating, but we definitely destroyed a lot easier than last time. Oh man, this is this is ridiculous. It's just driving straight through. <laughs> Wow. Okay, that was that was a lot of fun. All right, so now the question is, can I put this on an arm? Will that even work? So I'm guessing we want to do ultra heavy everything, probably. They might be stronger. They probably won't be. Then we'll connect those together. Then we need to go down. And I feel like we need to go forward as much as possible to where we can get some tracks in. I think there should do the trick. And then what I'm what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this block, the three-way Y split. All right, there we go, there we go. Then we can put a joint in, a power pivot. And then we just do the opposite. And then we've hopefully got something that can turn. But obviously we're gonna need extra weight at the back. But the question is, do I do it off there? So it's like cantilevered? Or do I just do it here so it doesn't flip up? Because I'm guessing as soon as we hit play here, we're gonna fall forwards. Oh, not too badly. Not too badly at all. I'll tell you what then, I might just put weight on this back end. All right, let's try this out then. We are facing backwards. Is that because my cab's facing the wrong way? Hang on, let's rotate you that way. No, we, we are just a backwards machine. Okay, fair enough. Oh God, the strength in our... <laughs> I may have overcocked that. Still, we can turn really quickly now. <laughs> All right, so we are lined up beautifully with that tower. Let's go watch and see what happens. Boosh. It doesn't even matter if it stops spinning. We can literally <laughs> we can literally just drive through it. That's awesome. And look, I only wanted to destroy that one tower. I left the rest standing on its own. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Another thing I want to try though, with this concept, I want to try like, you know, like those landmine clearers, the ones that just like flail chains around. All right, so for this one, we want the fast swivels and then another six weight and another fast swivel and another six weight and another fast swivel okay and then i'm not really sure how these will work together so i might just make a very quick vehicle just to sort of see what will happen all right so we got this yes the cab is facing upwards <laughs> yes we have no wheels i just want to see oh no oh no we've made a walker <laughs> all right, i just need to make these power arms like e and q maybe all right so what happens when we turn these on ah every other spin Okay, I guess that does make sense. So to maximize the damage, I think I need two rows with like opposite braces, like those arms. All right, let's just see if this works. It sort of, it sort of looks like Wally. It is quite well balanced though. Oh God, we might need a bit more weight on the back. Oh, but they all spin very nicely. Okay, so let's add some ultra heavies to the back and then let's add some chains. So I'm not sure how many pieces we want. Maybe we'll start with five. Just keep it simple. All right, there we go. Let's see how this works. So the chains are going to go floppy, of course. Oh no, we still got too much weight. Yeah, the chains weigh a ton. So let's add more ultra heavy blocks to the back. There we go. Perfectly balanced. <laughs> 
Right, now let's turn the chains on. Oh man, that does actually look like it could be deadly, particularly the middle one. All right, world's slowest machine, but we are getting there. I'm pretty excited to see the damage. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh yes, that is working very nicely. It is absolutely chewing through it. Although now it's stopped. All right, let's just b pick up some speed and then, oh yes, the tower is down. Chewing through the concrete. Oh man, that middle one is absolutely going for it though. Maybe it's better to do it that way. So I only have like three chains rather than five. Oh, I don't know. All right, let's try that then. If they're all held in place, I think they'll spin a bit faster. So they should all spin like the middle one. Oh, well, that, that was a fail. They're not spinning at all. So they both spin forwards. That spins forwards. And so does that. Why doesn't that spin? That's weird. No, these end two are not having any of it. What if, what if we replace those ones with a swivelly thing? Like a free swivel? So then it's just the outside one that's spinning it. I think that should fix it. Yes, much better. And they're all absolutely going for it. Right, let's head into battle. All right, then, ready? See you later, tower. Oh, <laughs> Oh, yeah, they don't even slow down. They literally don't slow down. Screw you, architect officers. Oh, that is brutal. Okay, okay, I'm happy with that. I think we can add more chains, though, by doing, like, an offset one above it. If we go from there, we go up three. So I guess a, a bend will be fine there. All right, so now we just copy exactly what's beneath. So six ways and fast swivels, essentially. And then we add chains to the opposite ones. All right, so there we go. And we're probably going to have to come back and add some free swivels somewhere. I just want to see how this works to start. Have we got the weight sorted? Oh, I'll tell you what, the top ones are working perfectly without a free swivel. We need more weight at the back, though. All right, if I were to swap those middle ones with a free swivel, though, I think that should work better. Or have I just cocked it? No, there you go. That is good. That is... <laughs> that is really good. I love that. Right, let's let's move out. And if you're wondering why I've done two tracks instead of the usual four, it's just to make turning a lot easier. I'd rather just shove a load of weight on to get it balanced than take like 10 minutes to do a 90 degree turn. All right, then here we go. How destructive is this going to be? <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to be incredible. Oh, yes, it is chewing through. It is chewing through. I'm not even moving forwards. Right, so if I just give it full welly, just let's go forward. Will it just eat through? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, man, that is insane. I feel like this might be better than the Mighty Boucher or whatever we called it in the end. Maybe the dev can add this one as well. I don't know. <laughs> well, I do know that was a lot of fun. And if you enjoy that, guys, please boost your like button. Uh, let me know you're enjoying this series. Otherwise, peace, love, and the Mighty Chain Flail Mine thing. This is why I don't come up with my own names. Bye, guys.